G'day, Glenn Morris here from the Smart Energy Lab. I'm here today on day two at All Energy with Mark Hall from Sig Energy. Now, Mark and I, we've been through a lot together, haven't we? We have. Yeah, we've yeah. We've been, been through have. a typhoon together. We have. <laughs> that 245k was... wins. <laughs> that was pretty wild. That was indeed. <laughs> yeah. Crawling our way back to our accommodation. Yeah, bits of building and trees and stuff flying around. It was, um, it was a good trip. And why did we go there? Well, we actually went to the island province of Hainan, which is directly opposite Vietnam in you know, the very south end of China. And we took a, a bunch of customers to an aquaculture facility, which has our product installed there. We have about five, I think it was five mega PV and six megawatt hours of storage. This aquaculture facility is, in, is uh, located about 300 meters from the ocean, very uh, high salt mist corrosive environment and the IP rating of our product being IP66, meeting all those international standards of, of salt mist corrosion and all that sort of stuff, was the perfect solution for this um, facility. So we took a range of customers over there, including your good self, and um, had some fun and visited the site and then got caught in a typhoon. So this was actually the product that was installed on the fish farm? This is literally the same product. It's our commercial range. And if we just go through that very quickly, we could uh, break it down. We have three inverter types, on-grid um, PV only inverters. And then we have a on-grid hybrid and an off-grid or, or uh, grid hybrid capable on or off-grid inverter, which is the one behind you. Um, and via those inverters you can run up to 253 kilowatt hours of this battery per inverter and you can parallel those up into megawatt hours really easily. So this is a size and stack yep. and we've got uh, one stack here so you have four stacks to get up to the 253 Three. kilowatt hours. 12.06 and don't forget the 06 because <laughs> when you times that by 21 that's how you get 253. So it's 21 battery modules. Yes. And, and that site was really difficult to access for installation. It was only like a metre wide on the side of the building with sand into a fish pond. Yes, yeah, yeah. V very challenging uh, site and yeah. very tough environmental conditions. And our product is designed to operate in all kinds of environmental conditions. So on grid, off grid, remote sites, purely grid connected for trading on the NEM. Um, we, with the range of products we have, we're able to access all kinds of sites, all kinds of regions, all kinds of industries. It's a very, very flexible product. Yeah, what impressed me was to build a six megawatt hour battery system, you're normally thinking of 20 foot containers, right? Yes. Craning them into a big concrete slab. Yes. And there was no possibility on this site. Yes, no, no. We, we don't require um, dedicated slabs and bringing in the civils, the conduit and all that sort of stuff. If we can show the base unit of our, of our product here. Um, the, can you hold this? Yeah. All the cable management is integrated into these base units. Now, because of the, the display here, we don't have enough room, but they should be 300 mil apart. And we have um, uh, a standard cable protection or cable tray that goes in between. So it's all integrated. It, when, you, when, you, when the product's shipped to you, you have everything you need to install. All you need is a slab. And typically down the side of a hard stand or on that site in Hainan, around the sides of this aquaculture facility. So this is the size and stack battery, but the inverter is a separate unit over here. Yes. So as I mentioned, three, three inverter types, um, PV only, on-grid storage and, and grid hybrid, can be on or off-grid. Um, and they range in size from 50 kilowatts to 125 kilowatts. So what that allows you to do as a designer or a system integrator is you have control of that ratio. So you have control of the ratio of inverter to best. If you need a whole lot of solar and a little bit of storage, you can have a minimum of 48 kilowatt hours. And if you need um, uh, a little bit of solar and a whole lot of storage for extended outages, for example, you can design to that as well. So really flexible in how you scale the product for your customers. Yep. So these units here, um, I mean, it looks pretty sizable, but I believe they're actually quite lightweight. Yeah, this is the biggest inverter we make. This is the HYB off-grid inverter um, or off-grid capable. Uh, and it is the biggest, heaviest inverter we have at around 100 kilos. But our PV inverters and our HYA are really small and light compared to what's uh, you know typical in the market. Um, and that means you can, you can ship more of them in a 40-foot container. 
you keep your shipping costs down, your material, your manufacturing costs down, so they'll be really cost competitive and, um, and easy to hang on the wall. You can fit more of them. Uh, this one looks really big because what we're looking at at the bottom here is simply cable protection. So all your inputs, um, battery cables, string inputs and AC outputs, all protected up to Australian standards by a dedicated cowling that's included with the inverter. This is new. It's relatively new, well done. <laughs> it is. We didn't have this in Hainan, we'll have this in Australia. Right. Yeah. To meet Australian standards. Exactly. So I'm familiar with the Sygen Store and the Sygen app. Is there something similar for Sygen Stack? It's the same app. Yeah. It's the same yeah, app. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's the same app. The, the may be a few additional features and readings that you can get, but it will essentially be the same app. We might have to change the logo from a from a little house to a, a big shed, but it, it's going to be very similar to the residential app. Wow. So um, you really nailed it with uh, you know going going big with a small product. So something that two people can lift. Yes. That you can build megawatt scale with. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, anyone that's had experience with our residential product will know how it goes together and uh, you know any competent team can literally install a couple of megawatt hours of this a day with with two guys you will need some lifting equipment glenn they're 110 oh, uh, that's right sorry i forgot these are 110 but they do come with handles that you can remove they do. so you and i maybe could do a two-man <laughs> lift for the first two you know but after about the third or fourth one you're going to need some lifting equipment a forklift or a goods hoist or something like that yeah but not a crane so yeah we can you don't need a crane. yeah so it's uh it's very uh you know friendly in terms of transport uh, in terms of um, handling because everything comes in cardboard boxes you're just shuffling them in and out of your ute exactly yeah yeah the, the, the whole design philosophy of sig energy is to make life simple more simple um, for our customers and, and end users and that's around design install commissioning and ongoing O&M it's meant to be very simple very robust now Commercial customers often look at the whole value proposition of installing storage mm -hmm. and solar. Um, how do you cover all the, the options? The commercial value proposition? Yeah, things like uh, when? arbitrage. Um, how long have we got? Right, <laughs> it's a really, really big subject, actually. And um, I've you know, been fortunate enough to spend the last six months in a bit of a deep dive into that exactly that sector. And there is a, a whole lot of resource and capital that is gearing up to invest into commercial solar and storage and a, uh, a young engineer from a uh, an energy retailer said it best to me um, and I'll never forget this and you can use this one he said there is no better way to buy electricity in Australia than having access to the NEM with solar and storage that's it and that that's a big driver of already residential solar and storage and commercial solar and storage is just getting to that tipping point where the next five or ten years are going to be huge. There's millions of acres of roof space, the uh, infrastructure's already there, so it's a bit of an economic no-brainer as well as obviously environmental no-brainer to meet uh, the um, targets that we're committed to as a country. Now, there's a lot of interest in the Cheaper Home Batteries program, which you, you uh, service really well with the sides and store. Yes. Uh, is it possible to access that rebate with the sides and stack? Oh, I believe it is. Yeah, I don't. I don't think we discriminate between sites for the federal home battery scheme. And you can probably tell me if I'm wrong here. Well, uh, can we do uh, less than 100 kilowatt hour storage? Uh, yeah, very easily. So the minimum we can run through one of our commercial inver inverters is 48 kilowatt hours. That's four of these stacks. So it would have you up to here, and then the battery controller would be sitting to here. And 48 kilowatt hours obviously is under that 50 kilowatt hour threshold. So this is roughly 100. Here. Yeah, don't make me do maths live on camera, Glenn, but there's a bit of storage here. 12.06, right, so 100 divided by 12.06, that's what we've got to do. Right, okay. okay. You do that live on camera. <laughs> uh, so I, think that, just, just I, think that's, I think that's seven, uh, maybe, yeah. I know. But um, yeah, so more or less what we're looking at here. Two, four, six, eight, ten. Yeah, so more yeah. more or less what we're looking at here would be covered under the. That. that was pretty good. The uh, cheaper home batteries program. Yeah. Well, not 120. It tops out at 100. 100. So you'd yeah. Have to lose uh, two of these. But you can. These don't have to be parallel. These are series connected. Correct. So you could install 96 kilowatt hours and claim the first 50. Yeah. And then I guess if you needed to go back and install another one or 200 kilowatt hours, you could do that at a later date. I believe that's how it would work.
Yeah, I just thought I'd throw that uh, curl, the curly one at you because no, uh, no, everyone's sort of excited about. I hope you're going to answer this question <laughs> for everyone. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll get my calculator out afterwards and uh, and do the sum there. But yeah, yeah, you worked it out. Twelve point oh six. That's the magic number, as That's you said. Yes, yes. So, Mark, uh, thanks for talking to us and uh, introducing us to the uh, site and second. You know, for everyone out there, there is even a hashtag. What's the hashtag? Fully sig. Get on it. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Good on you, Glenn. Thanks. Okay. Good one. Thanks. That was a real pleasure, mate.